It's the fast moving air that cools it off so fast that it extinguishes. But try this. Get a plastic water bottle. Cut the tail off. Get a plastic bag. Hold your plastic sheet on the back of the bottle with a rubber band. You can compress the air in the bottle so that it comes out the nozzle fast enough to extinguish the flame. It cools the candle off like that. Three, two, one. It's fun to see how far away you can get. Oh, yeah. Catch the smoke. And then if you're really careful, you can see smoke rings. So there you can see that the ring is swirling as well as going sideways. Oh, that is science, people. This is awesome. Pour rubbing alcohol into a bottle, put the lid on and give it a swirl. Twist the bottle in the middle and then watch what happens. A cloud forms inside. Follow for more science videos. Here's a simple science experiment you can do in your kitchen. All you need is water, cooking oil, and food coloring. Explain to your kiddo that this is all about density. Food coloring is heavier than oil, and as it sinks into the water, it creates little beautiful explosions of color. I'll bet you I can run faster in the wind resistance I'll fly under no conditions Teach myself complete submission I just saw this awesome thing and I want to show you Yes! <laughs> That is what? awesome. How did you do that? I don't know. Why? Hey everyone, I have a crazy science experiment to show you. Put a paper towel in the bottom of a plastic cup like this, and then take that cup, turn it upside down, and put it into a tub of water. Now remember, this plastic cup is filled with air, and that air actually blocks water and keeps it from coming into the cup. So when you pull the cup out and you remove the paper towel, the paper towel is completely dry. Try it for yourself and follow for more science videos. Strawberry DNA, we're gonna extract some today. Smash up some strawberries, mix two teaspoons soap, half a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of water. Add the solution to your strawberries and carefully mix. Strain through a coffee filter, 
Look at how much mixture you have and add an equal amount of rubbing alcohol. You'll start to see slimy snot-like stuff forming. That's the strawberry DNA. Use a popsicle stick to take it out and get a closer look. And that's how you extract This is crazy, watch. As I pour water into this glass, the arrows change direction. This is because of something called refraction. When light travels through water, it refracts. Try this for yourself and follow for more science videos. 50 feet of beads down inside the cup. Isaac Newton would be proud. Watch this. Just a second, I'm gonna hold them up like this. I'm gonna to toss it over to the side. It's gonna fall down and gravity's gonna pull it down, but it's gonna get pulled out of the cup. And in doing so, it's gonna shoot up, change direction, and work its way down. Look at how fast it happens, watch. changes direction in the air. Now in slow motion, he comes up, works its way around in slow motion, makes the little curve and works its way back down again. And of course, anything worth doing is worth overdoing. That's right, that's what makes everyone proud. Watch this, bam, look at that go. Problem is someone's gotta clean all this up. Me. In case you haven't seen any of my videos, apparently if you take 100% acetone and foam, it melts it and it turns into like slime, it's crazy. I wanna try and melt 45 foam cups. Here it goes. They're back, baby. At room temperature, the metal ball can fit through the metal rod, no problem. But now that this has been heated, it won't fit. Metals expand when they get hot. I could dip it in the ice bath to make it fit again, or we could try something else. Let's heat up the rod and see what happens. Since the rod is made of metal, it also expands so the ball can fit again. Now for the best part. Follow for more science videos. Okay, so I just saw this crazy thing online and I wanted to try it out for myself. It said if you put a battery in pure water, the water molecule is electronically neutral and not much happens. But if you mix some salt in the water, things are different. The salt dissolves in the water to leave behind positively charged sodium ions that migrate towards the negative tank. Bondi. <laughs>